And here in Nigeria, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control reported 1,355 new cases, taking the country's total number of confirmed cases to 240,374. This new figure is more than twice the number of cases recorded on Tuesday. Lagos recorded the highest number with 1,036 new cases, followed by Nasarawa with 92. Other states with high figures are Delta with 58 and the Federal Capital Territory with 57 new cases. Now, so far, 213,491 people have been discharged, while 3,028 people have died from COVID-19 related complications. Now, joining us on the ward now to discuss the surge in COVID-19 cases due to Omicron and Delta variant is the Public Relations Officer Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, Dr. Blosom Madu Fukwa. Good to have you join us, Dr. Madu Fukwa. Thank you so much for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I, I just want to start off with um, the statement by the uh, WHO Director General where he said that Delta and Omicron are twin threats. So what we usually understand is that when you have one um, variant, it, it does seem that that variant becomes the prevalent variant. But we understand that in places like India, the Delta variant is still the prevalent variant. Um, talk to us about um, these twin threats and what it means for the battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. So the Director General is, is exactly correct. So what people were expecting was for Omicron to immediately displace the Delta variant. But we see that the, that actually hasn't happened. So both variants are going strong at the same time so the, the the problem and the issue and the thing that we've really been trying to guard against is overwhelming our health systems so with these two variants both of them highly transmissible um new research has shown that omicron may be even more transmissible than delta so with both of them going strong in lots, a lot of climbs. We're seeing a lot of positive cases. The health systems are getting overwhelmed. And this is exactly why we really pushed for vaccinations when the vaccines were made available. Because we knew that without vaccinations, these variants will continue to just keep having new variants. And with each new variant, can get either more transmissible, more virulent. And when this happens, we're really, we really just end up being stuck in this pandemic. Uh, but also help us understand the difference. Um, the, the WHO um, also said that the, uh, the threat from Omicron is still very high. But there's also a statement about Omicron being the milder form, while um, the, the Delta variant seems to have more fatalities. But it's just different information coming up. Talk to us about the difference between Delta variant and the Omicron variant. Okay, that's, that's a great question. And that's a question that many people are, are asking, people are trying to clarify. So what we do know at this point is that Omicron may be more transmissible than, uh, than Delta. Now, research is ongoing, but indications are becoming um, very, a little bit more clear that Omicron may be less virulent than Delta. So the research is not conclusive yet. I'm going to clearly say that. Research has not conclusively said that Omicron is less virulent than Delta. But what we're seeing is that when Delta was surging, hospitalizations and death from COVID-19 tended to be higher than what we're seeing now. So that is what we know based on the research that has been concluded as at today. However, mm. now if Omicron is more transmissible than, than Delta, so let's say um, out of 100 people that have Delta, we lose one person. If Omicron is more transmissible, we're going to be talking about a thousand people. So even if the percentage of people that we lose is smaller, it's still going to be a lot of people mm. because of the shared numbers of people that are getting infected by Omicron. Mm. So that's the difference between the two. 
based on what we know as of today. Mm. I, I, I think that clarifies the statement by the WHO director when he said it is a th twin threat. One of them leads to more hospitalization in terms of more cases, um, which is the Omicron, and the other yeah. seems to have more fatalities, which is the Delta variant. So indeed, it is a, a twin threat. Uh, but what we are learning so much about this um, virus every other day, but one of the things that we have come to understand... Well, which, that, that, mm. I, I, Go clarify ahead. One thing, though. Let me clarify one thing. So Omicron is actually not leading to more hospitalization. Okay. So with Omicron... In more positive cases. But when Delta was surging, we saw more hospitalizations from Delta than we're seeing from Omicron today. I hope that clarifies it. Th that clarifies so it. Just more cases, but not necessarily not necessarily more hospitalizations. Um, I, I wish we have enough time to talk about the fact that people are traveling. Exactly. Um, traveling this season and what would likely happen in the new year but my time is up um we will just see how this plays out especially in a, in a country like nigeria thank you so much for talking to ross dr blossom madufokwa